The press conference being thrown into that, it was just like, whoa. I didn't know how to react. Few people did know how to react to the news of September 5th, 1979, when Ann Myers became the first woman ever to sign an NBA contract. I knew that I was not going to go in there and embarrass myself or the Indiana Pacers. That was not my purpose. And I've been playing the game of basketball all my life. And I was raised that way. So from day one, I knew what I was doing. But she wasn't prepared for this full court press. The media and the cameras, I mean, I'd never heard so many cameras clicking before. I'd be getting my um, foot taped or I'd be tying a shoe. I mean, and they would have a camera literally two to three feet away from my face. I mean, I was ready. And I played pretty good, but the media is all around, and, and certainly free agents and rookies are not used to what is going, the circus that she has brought to the, the table. But I, I think one of the best things uh, that I re recall is Jack McCloskey was an assistant coach at the time. And for him to say, fundamentally, I was better than half the guys out there. It showed me that the fundamentals that I learned at UCLA with all my coaches and uh, with Coach Wooden and really carried over to understanding the game at another level.